These are the worst guns in Phantom Forces. This video is taking a slightly different approach to my previous videos by highlighting the worst of the worst. The guns that are just useless, or too hard to use to make them viable in combat. I will be factoring in ammo conversions for the most part, as ammo can truly make or break your build. And in this video, <laughs> we're gonna be breaking stuff. Starting off strong, we have the Remington 700 with a 32 ACP conversion. If you've ever wanted to turn your sniper rifle into a long GB22, now's your chance. With a measly 50.05 torso damage up until 80 studs, and 28.1281 damage at 245 studs, this sniper separates the boys from the boys with no lives. Pretty much the only way to get kills with this thing is headshots, with a 10 times damage multiplier to the head, turning someone's skull to a squuzz. And with a penetration depth of 1.08 studs, cover and concealment are basically the same thing. Up next we have the actual GB22. This is easily my least favorite gun in the game. Period. Literally nothing about this feels good. It has an incredibly pathetic 20 damage to the torso under 60 studs and 15 after 90. But people will say, just shoot him in the head, it does 200 damage. I don't care. That headshot damage is compensating like a high school kid buying a lifted truck just to drive to school. It's not practical, it doesn't make you interesting, and the only people it attracts are desperate for validation anyway. I'm pretty sure this was cobbled together with parts from a prison toilet. It holds one singular round at a time and has a reload time of 0.7 seconds, giving this little cordless hole puncture an abysmal average 28 damage per second. If you hit all body shots, and if you hit all your shots. I will give it the benefit of the doubt, however, when you use the 50 AE conversion, it does boost the base torso damage to 102, but you also need over 2,000 kills to get that, so do with that information as you must. Coming in after that disappointment is another weapon people probably aren't surprised to see, the Zip-22. This weapon is so useless even the devs hate on it. I mean, it literally has abysmal damage in the description of the gun. How much more obvious could they be? With a base torso damage of 15 up to 30 studs and 12 at 60, you could take this to an airsoft field and be let in. Also boasting an alright headshot damage of 42 up to 30 studs and 33.6 past 60, if you're good at the game, maybe it could be viable for you. But for the average person, this is nothing more than a gimmick. Not to mention with a capacity of 10 plus 1 with a standard magazine. If you were to hit all body shots, you would need to hit more than 60% of your shots in order to kill one singular person. And if they hide behind even plywood, good luck. They're as good as gone. The only thing I'd recommend doing with this is using the 50 round drum and using rat shot. And that's purely just to make people regret their lives if you kill them with it. Now it's time for the most overrated sniper in the game, the M107. This sniper rifle is all bark and no bite. I'm pretty sure slapping this thing to a turtle would be more efficient than carrying it around. When running with this weapon, you're pretty much moving at the speed of Lizzo going up a flight of stairs, and it doesn't even have the damage to back it up. With a very strange damage range that makes absolutely no sense, the M107 does 94.35 torso damage up to 50 studs, 105.45 damage between 150 and 200 studs, and then back to 94.35 past 300 studs. Meaning this 50 caliber anti-material rifle doesn't count people as material unless you shoot them between 110 studs and 240 studs because apparently bullet no hurt unless do math before shoot. I'm pretty sure if I got shot in the chest with a half inch projectile moving faster than the speed of sound I wouldn't be laying there with a sucking chest wound debating on whether or not I would bleed out faster because I didn't know if he was at 150 yards or 149 yards. The description says very high damage after a specific range due to over penetration. Newsflash everyone it still only does a max torso damage of 105.45 you want to know what else does that? Literally every single high caliber sniper in the game. And you don't have to deal with the lethargic movement speed, reload time of almost 5 seconds, and the range of movement of a crippled snail. Last but not least, we have the M231. If you hate the Colt SMG, you'll hate this piece of garbage even more. Being about as uncontrollable as the MG42 and the MG3, but without the long service record, the M231 is pretty much a new player's nightmare. With a borderline uncontrollable recoil pattern, 30.4 torso damage out to 90 studs, and a damage fall off of 32% at 150 studs, dropping it to 18 damage, there's pretty much no redeeming qualities about this AR. While you can move pretty fast wielding this, it purely so that you can escape literally every fight after you miss your entire magazine's worth of shots. Not to mention that in its default state, its carry handle doesn't have irons. If you're not religious, you definitely need to be, because other than divine intervention, you're not getting any kills with this past 30 studs. In conclusion, these are my least favorite weapons that are either useless, too difficult to use, or just way too overrated. Please keep in mind, this is my objective opinion and doesn't mean you can't have fun with any weapon in the game. I often have fun just goofing around with these things. Let me know of any specific ideas or weapon reviews you want to see. Until then, see ya.